Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smash Brush. Oh my gosh, it's been a couple of months actually since I've last uploaded. I feel like I say that a lot, but this time has been a really, really long break. Since last year, 2020, like life has just been such a crazy like roller coaster of a year. The last video that I uploaded was, I believe me going to Portugal, if I'm not mistaken, I can't fully remember. Um, but ever since then, that was summer, and now we're cup like we're a week away from Christmas, and there has just been so much that I feel like has happened in my life. But it's been a lot of the same things, couple of different things. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be doing our makeup. It's more of like a get ready chit chat, kind of life catching up, uh, tea on my life, if you will. Not that it's like super hot, piping tea, but it's. I mean, tea is tea, right? <laughs> I'm excited to kind of get you guys up to date, kind of telling you what I've been up for these past couple of months. So yeah, if this is a video that you guys are interested in, then just keep watching. And without further ado, let's get to it. Eyebrows tend to take me a pretty long time, uh, so I figured I might as well do this off of camera, but I'll tell you exactly what I use. So I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I use the color four, um, and then I use the uh, Browsing's Pro Palette. It's just a nice um, brow powder. So I use this really light color. Let's start off with the first thing. Yes, I dyed my hair much lighter compared to the last time that I was on here. My hair was also longer. I really wanted to change up my hair. I wanted to go for like this nice gray, coolish type of tone. Done this color before. I feel like this has been the lightest that I've been though. I am excited and I do love it. It's a lot of maintenance, just a heads up. Um, but we did end up cutting my hair a little bit more than I expected. Trim ended up being this compared to like how much longer I had it, but it was probably for good reasons anyway, so I'm not too mad. My hair will end up growing anyways, but Xavier hates it, so there's that. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the eyes. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is grab my Too Faced concealer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over. I kind of already... Um, shaped up my brows, but I do like to work pretty quickly after I end up putting on concealer So I'm in a sense just reapplying and we're just gonna apply this all over the brows The brows all over the lids. I haven't done a cut crease a really really long time kind of more of the look I want to go for today, but we're gonna start off using the uh, Tartlet palette. I think this is called this is called the Tartlet juicy palette honestly has been one of my top palettes that I tend to always reach out for because it has these really pretty pinky tones in there and I I think it makes my eyes just look a little bit more girly and just I don't know I like the way blush looks on me like the color like the blush tones and the light pinky tones so I'm gonna go into that color rose and mix it up with a little bit of that color blossom so just these two right over here And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this white tone. It's called Wishful. I've been doing this a lot on my brides where it's like where I really brighten this inner corner area and I kind of like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that same technique and just apply it right into this area. Okay, so this is how this look is coming along so far. I know it looks a little funny, but trust the process. <laughs> um, next, I'm actually going to go into this palette. I very rarely use it, and I think it's because it's so pricey, but also, like, I just, I don't, I don't know exactly what look to do. Like, there's so many possibilities, but at the same time, when there's neutral colors, I feel like I'll go to a different palette. So I'm using the Natasha Denona, the Biba palette. It's all neutral colors. It's actually really pretty as you can see this is like a barely touched but it's just such a beautiful palette so I figured you know what today's gonna be the day we're gonna smoke out um, these parts the outer corners just a little bit and then we're gonna do our whole cut crease going back to my hair what I was trying to say before um, Xavier doesn't like hate it hate it but he was just telling me he's like not 
a like he is not about short hair so he was definitely upset but he did say that he liked the color so that's always nice <laughs> And just in general, like, I feel like I've been wanting a change for my hair for a while. I mean, he, he definitely gave me that change without me expecting it. I tend to get a lot of questions as far as, like, how long, how long does it take me to get my hair to look like this? We were there about, like, nine, almost ten hours just getting this done. So I will leave his page down below if you guys are interested and you're in the Jersey area. Luis Carlos is so awesome. And if you're watching this, Luis, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited for the new Spider-Man movie that's coming out. And I know there's all this talk about, like, Tobey Maguire being in there along with like Andrew Garfield and all of that. Parts of me hopes that like all three Spider-Man are there because we all grew up with that with the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man but I kind of don't want to get my hopes up and I feel like it might not happen so let's see. But anyways that is off topic I just got a notification and I just saw something. So up next we are going to actually go ahead and cut our crease. I'm going to be using my P. Louise base. This is in the color zero. I'm just going to quickly cut my crease before continuing a little chat <laughs> okay so now up next i'm gonna go in with that color monroe and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this just all over the lid area so wherever we did all of like that light cut crease kind of action going on this is where we're gonna apply all of this so this year there has just been a lot of catching up which is why it's been really really insane as the world is still like recovering from everything we went through last year this year there was a lot of catching up and there are a lot of you that know but in case you are new to my channel i am a bridal makeup artist so bridal makeup is what i specialize in obviously in 2020 there was just so many wedding cancellations that happened that this year has just been all about catching up right all of these postponements that happen because of what Weddings that weren't able to happen are like, you know, they all were squished into this year on top of like new weddings, you know, like new engagements. With things like that, it's just, it overly booked our calendar so much that we were having Monday weddings, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, like days that were really not that ordinary in the, in for most weddings. Real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using this Moondust Shadow by Urban Decay. It's been really, really pretty and I have been using this on some of my brides. And I'm just gonna kind of top this color right on top of um, this shadow. See, it gives it such a pretty, like, reflective look. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice wing liner. Of course, I just can't go without my wing liners. This has been one that I recently discovered, and I'm actually pretty obsessed. It just, it tends to be sold out everywhere. Um, and just in general, if you haven't noticed, like, I feel like everything is sold out. This is the Pat McGrath Liquid Liner. It's so good. We have just been doing so, so many weddings this year. You're super busy. That's such a great thing on a business level, you know, but it can also affect a lot of just like, you know, like your mental health and just like your mental state of mind, your emotional state. Like it's just so much because you don't end up having so much time to yourself. I am so, so grateful that I have had the opportunity to be extremely busy and so much that I actually had to build a team. And that's what a lot of this year honestly consisted of was finding the right group of girls that would join my team that one were super nice because that is one of the biggest things with me having makeup knowledge and being able to do makeup in such a pretty way is super important because this is why people hire but i'm just such a big believer in like 
having just positive energy, people um, that aren't hating or, you know, people that don't have like negativity or just such a bad aura to them. Like I cannot deal with that. You know, I, I think anyone, everyone can kind of agree that sometimes working with females can be a little bit rough. There can be some cattiness going around. I'm not old, but I feel like that's already just such a little kid thing. I just feel like I don't have time for that, nor the energy, nor do I want to feed that type of um, energy into my life. I just like to make sure that whoever I'm around is a positive and just a nice person, you know? Um, I don't think that's too much to ask for. By the way, if you're interested in what I was using, I have been using um, a mixture of two different foundations i was using the ilia uh, true skin serum foundation i've honestly been loving this it's been super super nice on my skin it can be a little bit more on the lightweight side so i do use something that's like a tiny bit heavier but it's really not that heavy either it's the uh, fenty beauty uh ease drops or easy drops skin tint gives it a little bit more coverage at least right around like these areas because as you saw like i think i'm getting like sun marks and i'm here like oh my god so i'm going to be using uh my charlotte tilbury um corrector this is in the number one pale and we're just gonna go ahead and correct these bad boys right here because my under eyes are a little rough guys so I'm just gonna apply this right into here and right in here as well if there's anything i really like to concentrate when it comes to my makeup is making sure my darkness is covered because not cute so just gonna blend this out so now i'm gonna go in with my tarte shape tape concealer and i'm just gonna apply this right into this area this is where we get like nice and bright All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I'm using a lighter color now. So the one that I used was 29N, this one is 16N. And I am just gonna place this right into this area and apply this right into here as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face. I love this stuff. This is the NARS Liquid Laguna. I'm so upset though because they stopped making it and it's just such an amazing product that I'm like, why? Why would you stop making it, you know? Um, but we're gonna do a little bit of some cream contouring, just a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure this is all nice and bronzed out. I think I have a little hair here. So yes, we have been able to make a team of with myself included, it's eight of us. It has been such an amazing um, turnout. Like we've worked together pretty closely this year and it's just been a busy year, you know, and it's been amazing to see some of these girls really flourish and also kind of do their own thing as well. So, okay, so what have we caught you guys up with? I've caught you guys up with my hair, caught you guys up with what most of this year looked like. Um, after I came back from Portugal, I did go to Mexico. We celebrated our fifth year anniversary. It's insane. Like I've been married for five years. I really don't feel like I have. I feel like I've been married for like maybe two years, <laughs> you know? We haven't had any other outings because literally as soon as I came back has just been like non-stop working with weddings we've had definitely over a hundred weddings just this year alone and next year is already almost completely booked so like i said it's just been such an amazing blessing i know i recently put up my my makeup studio tour which i loved I, I loved how much like traction that video got and just in general it was such a big moment in my life for me to finally have my own studio I've actually been there for about four years now, um, but I actually just finished moving. We had to expand. There was issues within that building itself that I just couldn't tolerate anymore. Also, just in general, I needed more space. There's a lot of like projects and things that are coming about. So we ended up, so we are actually expanding in every way, you know? So we've expanded with our team and now 
we're also expanding within our studio. This camera's batteries died and they're actually new cameras, the ones that I don't normally record with. So I'm totally getting used to like the battery life and just like how it works. So I went ahead and finished my eyes because I don't know how much time I have left with as far as like battery life. All I did really was put on my lashes. I put a little bit of pink on the bottom with some mascara and then the same um, moon dust shadow that I used on here. I just use a smaller brush so it's a lot more concentrated in the very inner corners as well as my brow bone. So it gives it like that nice, really pretty pop. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my cheeks. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury number two bronzer and we're just gonna go ahead and bronze away. I'm gonna be building this up right here. I think I kind of messed up on this area just a little bit, looking a little cakey, but we're gonna fix that. I definitely wanna record more consistently starting uh, 2022, which is insane to think 2022 is right around the corner when my brain is still 2020 don't know exactly what i want to do yet um by the way i'm gonna go ahead and brighten my under eye look at that crazy difference that is insane by the way this is the jaclyn hill uh this is just like the brightening and setting palette it's actually so good it's like i don't know i feel like it's underrated and people aren't using it enough but i love the way this like just instantly like instantly brightens like look at that like honestly i feel like the makeup world as far as like social media goes is definitely dying in a sense like it's not as like boom and just as big as it was maybe like two three years ago and i understand that like i'm not i'm not mad about it either but sometimes i'm just like what do you guys want to see do you guys want to see more of like just everyday makeup do you guys want to see more like behind the scenes of what it's like to be a makeup artist do you guys just want to keep seeing more reviews i just feel like there's not enough makeup coming out for me to be able to review as much or nothing that really excites me anymore i'm willing to try new things i just feel like i haven't heard of anything that's been so like wow like you have to try this so i am just blushing up a little bit more looking a little bit white on the under eyes as far as like the camera goes so i am gonna just bronze it just a little i'm gonna go ahead and apply highlighter i've not used this highlighter in a really long time this is by laura mercier this is their matte radiance baked powder so i'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit right into here How pretty that looks all right and then the last thing is honestly just the lips so i'm using a combo of these three i'm going to be using a lip liner by morphe and the gloss by morphe liners in makeup talk and then the gloss is going to be in freebird and then for the lipstick i'm going to be using the huda beauty i believe these are called the the matte lipsticks this is in the color anniversary All right, guys, and my makeup is completely done. Loving, loving the way this whole look kind of came out. It's like soft, but still very glamorous and just, I don't know, it's a little something. Honestly, I haven't done my eye makeup and just my makeup like this in a pretty long time. I feel like since last year, I've been extremely comfortable not wearing any makeup, being seen that way, not caring who. And it's kind of nice to really just be glammed up again and just now having a reason and a need to like go out before we leave i do want to say one more thing i know for the past couple of years i have been doing like my annual christmas giveaways even though i have been kind of away from social media ish kind of but specifically youtube that will not stop this year's giveaway i already have everything packed up like i'm just i'm so excited to finally be announcing it soon normally i do announce the winners on christmas 
Christmas Day, but this year will be on New Year's Day due to just so many things being pushed back, but it's still something that I want to give as a thank you for staying here, for, you know, continuing following me on Instagram. This is just a big thank you to everyone. So stay tuned for that giveaway. It is, there's a lot of really great things in there. I'm so excited for just what's to come, the next chapter in my life, I guess. And if there's any ideas of videos that you guys would like to see, if there's something that you're a little bit more inclined towards, I am totally open to anything. I have a couple of video ideas myself. Um, I think it's also time for Xavier to kind of show his face here again. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be very soon, but I think it definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys so, so much. Again, truly appreciate you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.